Hello guys. Here, hand me that. Good afternoon. We are on our way to nap time. <laughs> yes, we're on our way to nap time. I'm gonna rock this little guy and get him down. And then Maddie and I are gonna be cleaning in preparation for Easter. Sorry, I am moving the camera all over. Oh, let's see if it'll focus. Hi you guys. I got the baby down for his nap and Maddie and I have our work cut out for us. I had to work for the past two days. I feel like I say this all the time, but when I do, the house gets a little crazy. And so we have some, we have some Easter cleaning to do today. And so it's afternoon already. The baby's finally down and we're gonna get started. So I guess we're going to tackle the kitchen and the living room first, which is where I always like to start. And then I'm already thinking in my mind about dinner, so I, um, I put some ground beef on the counter. I think I'm gonna do some meatballs tonight. Okay. So we'll do meatballs, but first, um, we're going to switch out the laundry because that has gotta go on all day long as well. So now that Solomon is finally down, I feel like we could get really focused and get a lot done. So we're excited for Easter this weekend. Even though we're quarantined, we plan on having a great big family celebration, lots of cooking, lots of fun, and we're excited. Guys, guess what we're gonna have? We're gonna have an Easter hunt outside. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna have lots of food, we're gonna do some crafts, we're gonna do some decorating. But first things first, it's Good Friday, and we gotta get this, we gotta get this house in order. Mm -hmm. Guys, I look like a country girl. Country girl. All right, so I had something completely different on earlier, and then I remembered that I needed to do some deep cleaning today. So I have, oh, I guess we could show little baby bump. Here is little 25 and a half, almost 26 weeks baby bump. And this is my cleaning skirt. It has paint on it, and it's what I put on when I'm wanting to get some really good work done. So I have my little cleaning outfit on. We're gonna get down and dirty here. I guess I should show you the mess. Should we show them the mess? No. No. You don't want to. You don't want to see you it. You don't want to see it. So yesterday the kids drug out the um, spring Easter tub. So that tub has to be cleaned up and put away. The kitchen's not horrible, um, but yeah, there's clothes. I asked my oldest to hang those up yesterday and he did not. So we're kind of working with some 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 issues with that, but anyway. Um, so the countertops will need to be cleaned off. Um, I ran the dishwasher this morning, so we'll unload that and get that ready for dinner tonight. Um, we'll put away all the laundry that was supposed to have been put away. And then in here, um, we're just gonna tidy up, get all the toys and everything put away. Maddie's room is, it pretty much stays, it's the playroom. So it stays um, in this state a lot. The kids do lots of art and playing in here and unfortunately, unfortunately it stays a mess. Guys, so we room. have to really work through this, um, <laughs> this issue. Guys, this is the living room I'm working on. She's working on the living room. Okay, so finish cleaning the living room. I'm gonna go start with cleaning up the kitchen and uh, we also have some Christian videos going in the background. We can kind of listen to as we clean. <laughs> and I always, uh, like the sun gives me lots of energy. So I always like to, I can't believe these kids have done this to this room again, but anyway. Um, I like to open all the blinds and all the curtains and get as much natural light in this house as possible. Ah. It tends to give me lots of energy and I kind of thrive on natural light. So I'm going to raise up the curtains. Not the curtains, the blinds. You see a lizard? Yeah. Oh good. This one off the tree. Tree. Let's see if we can get this up here. I have paper dogs. Up, 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 up. There we go. Guys, There's our backyard. Look, I have paper dog bones. Maddie's gonna clean up her messes. Right, girlfriend. Oh my, they found the hidden toys apparently too. Mm mm mm.
woke up from his nap after sleeping for about 20 minutes so that put an end to my cleaning um so i've gotten absolutely nothing done except for i got some pullman loaf pan uh, loaf bread going in the um uh, i can't talk in the bowl <laughs> so i showed you guys a little bit about that so let me show you what it looks like right now it's doing its rise all right so here it is I'm gonna give it about maybe 20 more minutes to let it rise and then we'll do our second rise after that. Guys, I did you wait. not sleep, man? I can't wait for Easter. He's getting me to slide on my stomach. <laughs> did, ah. why, why did you not take a nap? Hmm? Guys, and if you and oh, if, um, you haven't seen yet, by sliding, I mean we have a um, baby slide. A baby slide, yeah. All right. Guys, I'm really too big for that thing. All right, I gotta keep cleaning. Are y'all gonna help me clean? Yeah. You are? All right, y'all. Here's my bread. I know I didn't show you guys all the steps, but I'll link the recipe in the description. So, here is my bread. I'm getting ready to dump it out, deflate it, and then put it in my Pullman loaf pan. I'm also working on Alexa Paul's. I don't want to get copyrighted. Paul's music. Um, so I'm working on some um, cinnamon rolls. I've made these before. I don't know if I've shared the recipe. Anyway, they look like the like this. They're cream cheese cinnamon, yeast cinnamon rolls. And I thought it would be nice to have these this weekend. I was going to see tastesoflizzytea.com so I'll try to link that in the description box as well but I'm working on that and doing laundry at the same time and <laughs> taking out trash and I just started some more laundry and cleaned up the little uh, garage area all right so that's what I've been doing and you guys I have to be honest with you <sighs> I'm battling irritation today <laughs> i am battling irritation because my you know my kids aren't cleaning up after themselves and my teenager didn't do what he was told yesterday <sighs> so that left a lot on my plate and i'm trying really hard to get right a right spirit and a right mind but it's hard and there's going to be discipline involved which i never like but it is what it is, but I'm just sharing that to let you guys know, like, this is where I am today. <laughs> so, while I'm trying to get all this done, I'm trying to listen to worship music, I'm trying to pray, I'm trying to remind myself that just because things aren't, you know, isn't, things aren't the way I want them today, tomorrow is a new day. So, I'm just going to work on getting some food prepared, getting some laundry done today. I'm not going to overwhelm myself and tomorrow's a new day and we'll deal with the issues that need dealt with but that's just where i am so i just wanted to share because i know a lot of you guys probably find yourself in this position as well more often than not especially if you have a large family but um we can surrender that feeling to the lord and continue to serve and do what we need to do um but also deal with those issues and character training that we need to be dealing with. So, um, I'm gonna keep at it, keep working, and hopefully get this bread and cinnamon rolls done, and then we'll get the meatballs made and finish the laundry, and then I'm probably gonna call it a day. <laughs> so, that's what I'm doing. I hope you guys, you know, don't mind my sort of being real with you, but yeah, it's real life, and that's what I'm doing, so. feeding these kiddos I made some sweet tea in my lovely little glass pitcher all right here is the Pullman loaf 
It is just about ready to bake. Actually, I think it is ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and preheat the oven for that. And then we'll bake that bread. And then this is the cinnamon roll dough. And it's rising slowly, but getting there. So we're gonna let that keep going. And of course we had some macaroni and cheese. And then this is for meatballs. So I'm gonna go ahead and whip up some meatballs for dinner. Oh, gosh. Look, I'm smelling up. That's ice so All right, you guys, yeah. here are my meatballs. I'm gonna wait till my bread comes out and then we'll put these in to bake. And I think we'll probably do like a meatball marinara tonight. So those are done. Got some dishes I need to load up here. And now I'm gonna tackle something else that's been on my list for a very long time, and that is cleaning out my refrigerator. It's a mess. Guys. It's a very big mess. Guys. I'm up. So here it is. It is a mess. It is definitely time to clean this out. I don't know how old this spaghetti is. Put oh. off the table, please. Put off the table, please. So I'm gonna set everything out on the table here, and then we will um, clean all the shelves and reorganize them and throw any food out that needs to be thrown out. And hopefully have enough room for our Easter groceries. Alrighty, here is my loaf bread. And once it cools, it'll get really super soft. So yum yum for that. Let's turn this water off. I'm doing dishes, finish the refrigerator. I've just, I've got to deal with that stuff right there. And here is the newly refreshed fridge. We are out of milk and a few other things, so I've definitely got to go to the store. But I have to say, that looks so much better. I did not tackle the freezer, but um, I Cloroxed everything, rearranged a few things. And it looks a lot, a lot, a lot better. So there is that. Now, I've got to get the trash taken out, finish this table. I have got to get these cinnamon rolls made. Bread's done and my meatballs are cooking away. I guess it is turning out to be somewhat of a, pro oh, excuse me, and it's running, <laughs> somewhat of a productive day today. So, um, yeah, I'm just trucking along and singing my song. And we're gonna get it done. And we're gonna get it done with a happy heart. Which is what I'm trying, what I'm aiming for. So, I'm gonna keep on going. Jimmy's on his way home from work. We're going to go to the grocery store when he gets home. And then I'll be doing laundry late into the evening tonight. All right, I've got the dough rolled out. And then this is just a cup of packed brown sugar, half a cup of butter, and two tablespoons of cinnamon. I'm just gonna spread that on the top. Sliced Pullman loaf, and you guys look at this. This is a good loaf of bread. Um, the recipe it seems to always do very well. That one I sliced a little thin, but I mean, check it out. It it's really really good, and it's pretty consistent every single time. So if you're looking for a really good loaf bread, 
uh, like a Pullman pan or even if you don't have a Pullman loaf pan you can do two smaller um, loaf pans and you can still do this bread it's very very good and my cinnamon rolls are rising for one more go and then we're going to pour a little bit of heavy cream on there and put those in and then meatballs are done I'm just gonna put those in some sauce and we are going to be wrapping things up so I am watching our church service on live stream we've got our bread we're getting ready to put the meatballs on we'll just do uh, the meatballs on top of bread with marinara I mean with the mozzarella and it's time to eat hello what do you say girl and the cinnamon rolls boy don't I look like I've had a rough day <laughs> our cinnamon rolls are cooking away oh look at that one <laughs> You're spilling over all right um I'm gonna fix them a plate and then Jimmy and I are gonna run out and get our groceries <laughs> Thank you.